guys welcome to the video tutorials of codeandtest.com and in this video we'll talk about quality standards first i'll give you a brief introduction about what quality standard is so organizations are working hard to meet customer needs and expectations take any organization hospitals software firms food manufacturers all these organizations want their customers to be satisfied and customer is satisfied when we give him quality output on on time okay now to achieve this an organization follows some standards like if this organizations uh, do work as per the standards they will deliver a quality output okay, these standards can be described as uh, good practices okay now every individual organization can have its own standards but we can't say that these standards are widely accepted or respected internationally right because these standards are only followed by that organization so what happened these companies or organizations wanted some standards some good practices which are which are respected internationally so people from different countries got together and formed like bodies formed different bodies and these different bodies introduced standards which are recognized internationally and are widely accepted okay these standards can be followed by small or big organizations so in this video we'll see about we'll talk about ISO CMMI and Six Sigma okay so first let's get started with ISO so ISO International Organization for Standard Standardization is famously known as ISO yes it's ISO not IOS and it is an international standard setting body the purpose of ISO is to promote the development of standardization in the world. They promote good practices that are to be followed in order to develop a quality output. The emphasis is greater on customer focus and satisfaction. Following, a, following these ISO standards will help organization achieve quality that is recognized and respected throughout the world and it also helps in improving performance activities resource management quality control process quality assurance process and what not and any organization can follow these ISO standards these standards are not limited to just software firm any organization can follow these ISO standards okay so that was about ISO and this next is CMMI Capability Maturity Model Integration It is a process improvement model which helps organizations improve their performance. This performance can be anything. It could be in development of a software or hiring, hiring a team of testers or a developers. It could be anything. Okay. Now this CMMI can be used to guide process improvement across a project or an entire organization these standards are set mainly for software firms the CMMI level the CMMI standards are set mainly for software firms and there are five different maturity levels defined by CMMI they are level 1 initial in this what happens is the process followed by organizations is not documented it is chaotic uncontrolled and the environment is unstable okay so if a if a company is cmmi level 1 recognized the they do not follow they do not follow a quality method the environment is unstable okay the project monitoring is not done the testing is not done etc 
so after that is cmmi level 2 managed so in this process is managed to some extent it is not documented little or uh, no effort is made to control or assure quality the process is reactive but to not but not to the extent of customer satisfaction all right so one more thing about cmmi level 1 and level 2 companies is usually you don't find a testing team in this cmmi level 1 and level level 2 companies okay now let's see cmmi level 3 defined process is managed in this efforts are made to control and assure quality and risks are managed and incidents are resolved and defects are solved defects are rectified and prevented you know and uh, project monitoring is done and project controlling is done project planning is done so focus is on customer satisfaction right so that's about level 3 and you you can find uh, you you will find a testing team in level 3 organizations so next is cmmi level 4 quantitatively managed so here process is measured controlled and it is documented quality is controlled and assured and incidents are prevented okay emphasis is on customer satisfaction project monitoring is done project controlling is done project planning is done okay so it's better than level 3 level 4 is better than level 3 so now the next is cmmi level 5 optimizing apart from all the level 4 qualities the focus is on improving process okay the level 5 companies will improve the process project by project okay focus is on improving process so that was about cmmi level 1 cmmi level 1 level 2 level 3 level 4 and level 5 now six sigma It is a business management strategy widely used in many sectors of industry. It can be used by software firms or food manufacturers or airline industry, any any sector of industry. And uh, it was first developed by Motorola in 1980s. It helps to improve quality of process by identifying and removing the causes of defects causes of defects before they appear okay now six sigma uses a set of uh, quality management methods and creates sp special infrastructure for people within their organization like black belts and green belts and uh, this six sigma process is a process in which 99.99966% of the products developed are free from defects so if you are working as a tester for a six sigma following organization be prepared to spend some sleepless nights <coughs> well that applies for all of us working in IT field I guess so let's get back mm. like everything like we all know everything has positives and negatives these quality standards also have uh, some negative things they it, they have some criticism so mm, these quality standards cannot be followed by all the organizations okay though they are meant to be followed by small or big organizations or any organization in in practice in practice they are not followed by all the organizations so if an organization is not following the standards it can still deliver a quality product right and uh, if an organization which is following these quality standards might not deliver a quality product right so people question the existence of this quality product this quality standards like why are we actually using it there are few companies which don't follow these quality standards but they are still 
satisfying their customers and there are companies which are following this but they are still not satisfying their customers so yeah they, they've they've got a they've got a point there so mm -hmm, so that's that's all in this video see you in the next and uh, one more thing yes you might have uh, actually seen like thousands and thousands of pages written on these quality standards isos cmmi and six sigma but my 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 focus was on uh, you guys to give just uh, a brief introduction about these quality standards quality standards so that uh, if somebody asks you some something uh, about this iso cmmi and six sigma you should be able to tell a sentence or two if not uh, the whole uh, the whole description and the uh, whole uh, standards uh, you should be able to tell a sentence or two so that's all in this video see you in the next